Thank you. 
Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> 
It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes, whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. So you really believe my story? That I came from the future. I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. And Sonya, she can control time. 
As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means, if you don't already know how to get yourself home... <sighs> there are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. <gasps> Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could leave a solution, some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. Oh, back where we started. There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learn more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonya will be happy to help you. <sighs> okay.
Thank you. 